I'm here today on my butterfly transect in South Wales and I really enjoy carrying out the butterfly transect. They're done every week through the summer. It's a bit of a breakaway from my normal life where I get to really get to know the site, what different plants and butterflies um, occur here through the summer and a good way of reconnecting with nature at the same time as gathering some really valuable data that helps us monitor the state of the UK butterfly populations. One of the nicest things about running the transects this year has been seeing the volunteers get to know their sites and their species and how much they've gotten out of that. And from my point of view, the data that we're getting from the UK VMS gives us a fantastic insight into how butterflies are doing at quite a fine scale within the forest and that'll feed into our management. And it's exciting then also to be able to feed that data into the much larger national picture um, of butterfly trends to contribute to a scheme that's been running for such a long time in so many places. And I had such a fantastic time on the butterfly surveys. I learned about lots of new species, um, got to see some really wonderful butterflies that I've never seen before, uh, met some really interesting people and it was just so fantastic to be part of this like really exciting new project and I can't wait to see the results. We've been doing this transect now for about 10 years um, at Black Rock Quarry. It's nice to be doing something useful and in enjoying it at the same time. We started doing it with the Gwent Wildlife Trust. It's nice to know that you're helping with the data collection for the overall picture of the environment. I think a particularly special one was taking our grandson on one of the transects transect walks. He's only six but he really enjoyed it and uh, has been explaining it about it to his friends and identifying butterflies in his own garden. It's the volunteers who are the main ones. They're the ones who I try and get to motivate and get them out in the field and they do a fantastic job. What I enjoy about it is the feeling that you are contributing to something wider, both uh, with butterfly conservation but also locally with the friends group that I'm involved in and uh, we also compile our own data and it helps with habitat management and um, a feeling that you're part of the community as well. You get to go to the same place throughout the season and see the change in the species all along the summer. It's been a very interesting experience. I invite everyone that uh, has the opportunity to join something like this to go for it. I help to coordinate people taking part in the wider countryside butterfly survey on their breeding bird survey squares across the UK, which is really, really rewarding because it helps us to find out more about the butterflies and other invertebrates that can be found on breeding bird survey squares in all sorts of different habitats. My favourite butterfly has to be the marbled white, actually, because they're so beautiful and I love seeing them on a lovely sunny day in June or July. And they always remind me of a massive chequered flag that you'd see on a racing track. My partner Bill and I are volunteers who now walk the butterfly transect here in Pottenwood, Bedfordshire, where the first official transect was walked in 1976 by Ian Roywood. And Bill was delighted to discover a large tortoiseshell, a first for the woods, last year. I've had the pleasure of walking butterfly transects in many places over the years and one of my favourite patches was on my in-laws farm where there was a lot of thistles. I remember on one particular transect, a bright sunny day, midsummer, and they were just absolutely brimming with peacock butterflies in particular and that was a really magical moment to record so many on the transect. One of the transects I used to do was near the real ale shop in North Norfolk and I used to end with a pint which was a perfect way to end a butterfly transect. It's very important to the organisation, it gets people really engaged in butterflies and wildlife generally and it also helps us to kind of look at how the environment's changing because butterflies are such a good indicator. Um, my role in the UK VMS is actually overseeing the data collection, analysing that data, providing you with an insight as to what it's shown over the years. UK CAH is really pleased to be part of the UK BMS and uh, has been involved in its inception since the mid-1970s. And it's incredibly valuable for us and others to do research using the long-term, large-scale data to complement other environmental schemes, particularly citizen science approaches. I really enjoy my role in uh, supporting the scheme and seeing it grow. And my favourite butterfly, I've got a particular soft spot for coppers in general. There's some amazing species across Europe, and I really like seeing the small copper in the UK. Thanks particularly to all the volunteers who make a massive contribution 
to the scheme and really the lifeblood of the scheme and for all their amazing contributions. Thank you. As we celebrate the 50th survey season of the UK Butterfly Monitoring Scheme, we want to say a massive thank you to all of the volunteers that have contributed to the scheme, both past and present. Their dedication and perseverance in gathering consistent and reliable data have made it possible for us to monitor the state of the UK butterfly populations. So thank you everyone that's volunteered and helped us to do this.